how do we relate a complex root to the equation? I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very interesting question. We'll actually solve this question in different ways and then also learn tips and tricks to do similar questions at the end. The question here is to connect imaginary roots to quadratic equation. If 5 minus 3i is solution of x square plus bx plus c equals to 0, where b and c are real numbers, what is the value of b and c? Well, we are given the roots and these are complex roots. So, let us rewrite the roots. We are given that the roots are 5 minus 3i. Right? That means the other root should be 5 plus 3i. These roots are always conjugate pairs. Now, if these are the roots, in that case, to find this quadratic equation, we will have to do x minus 5 minus 3i times x minus 5 plus 3i right, equals to 0. And after that, we need to expand and simplify. Once you expand and simplify, you can compare the coefficients and get your answer. So, it is a very lengthy procedure. Now, let us also look into general expansion. So, let us call this these roots as x1 and x2, right. In that case, we are expanding equation x minus x1 times x minus x2, right. So, what do you get? Multiplying by x, you get x square minus x2x. Then with x1, we get minus x1x and then plus x1, x2. So, basically, what you basically get is x square minus, taking x common, we get x1 plus x2, right? We take x common and then we have product x1, x2. So, what you notice here is that the coefficient of x which you are looking for is minus b. Do you see that? And the product is basically c, correct? If you compare with the equation, that is what you get, correct? To get the equation the right way. So, basically, we can summarize this as minus b equals to sum, right? And c as the product. of roots of course, correct? So, that gives you a shortcut method, perfect. Now, appreciating this, you can now understand that I really do not have to expand and simplify, right? I can find the value of b and c just by using this concept of sum and product and that is what we are going to do. You can always verify the result using expansion. So, once again, what we have here is the roots, let me call these roots as x1 equals to 5 minus 3i, right, and x2 as 5 plus 3i. Always we have conjugate roots, right. So, we have conjugate roots. when we are talking about complex roots. Perfect. Now, we know that minus b is equal to sum of roots. Perfect. Minus b is sum of roots. Just add them up. 5 minus 3i plus 5 plus 3i. What do you get? Well, 3i minus 3i cancel, you get 10. And therefore, we can conclude that b 
is equal to minus 10. Is that clear to you? See how simple it is. Perfect. And now we know that C is basically equals to product. So we'll do the product of 5 minus 3i times 5 plus 3i. What do you get? a square minus b square, right? So, we get 5 square minus 3i square. i square is negative, right? So, you get 25 minus 9 times minus 1, right? So, which is 25 plus 9 or 34, correct? So, we get the value of c as 34. Is this absolutely clear to you? So, we have our answer and which is b is equal to minus 10 and c is equal to 34. And how did we find? We find b as negative sum, right? Negative sum of roots and c as product. So, that becomes your shortcut trick for doing such questions. So, I hope this concept is absolutely clear, right? So, you could actually summarize the solution as given here. So, what we saw is that the normal method of writing them as a factor and simplifying is actually prone to errors, right? And it's long. Instead, we could adopt a strategy of sum and product. Since the two roots are given to us, we know B is negative sum of the roots, C is the product of the roots, and so we get our answer very clearly. Is that clear to you? So, I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email to the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.